I want to talk a little bit about Chris Cuomo now. Uh, on Tuesday, he was cited in the report as, as advising his brother um, with these sexual harassment allegations, how to address them. And then later that night, prime time, there he was on, on TV, on CNN, talking about not his brother's report, not you know the sexual harassment allegations, but COVID and, and his response and, and how governors are responding and the country's response. Uh, do you have a message to the executives at CNN who allowed him to go on TV later that night and essentially, you know, he completely ignored the story? Malpractice, journalistic malpractice on their part. You know, I have to say, though, I'm grateful for them being so spineless and lenient and having Chris Cuomo and his brother on for their daily comedy hour in the spring of last year because if it wasn't for those giant q-tips and the fact that they didn't care about what was going on in nursing homes i would be here today you know it was finally that last straw when i saw his brother on television with that giant cotton swab when nursing homes couldn't get covid tests to you know test incoming patients that's when i decided to to speak out so i'm grateful for their journalistic malpractice but when I look at you know what's happened a year and a half later, mm -hmm. and we find out that Chris Cuomo has been helping orchestrate behind the scenes, you know, the governor's response to all of these harassment allegations, I mean, that's an ethical concern and maybe a criminal one. Mm -hmm. So they need to, you know, they need to think about what their messaging is. The fact that he had his brother on for so many weeks when the pandemic was happening, talking about his love life and the love gov and their family and who's better and whose meatballs are the better. I mean, it was it was beyond infuriating for people who had lost loved ones, right? But now when I see the fact that Chris Cuomo isn't delivering the biggest news story on every channel, the fact that one of the most powerful governors in America, a guy that could have been a president, a guy that was being considered for attorney general last year, Chris Cuomo's not covering that story because he can't give me a break. CNN, you are a joke, just like the Cuomo comedy hour last year. Well, it's interesting because at the end of uh, Chris Cuomo's show, when Don Lemon came on, they exchanged um, I love yous, actually. You know, they, they said, I love you, brother. And then as soon as Chris Cuomo got off the air, it was almost painful just knowing, you know, that basically CNN had to return to their previously scheduled reporting on Andrew Cuomo's the scandal of, of the day, the scandal of the week, the next couple of months, obviously. Um, and, you know, as soon as Chris Cuomo's face was off the screen, Don Lemon starts in with breaking news about of Governor Cuomo's uh, harassment report. So there's obviously been cause for the governor to resign. Do you think Chris Cuomo should should step down from his position at CNN? I think they're, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And they're going to dig their heels in, both of them. I don't think Chris Cuomo wants to uh, step down. And there was a report out today recently um, that management actually gave him the option of taking, you know, a sabbatical or a leave of absence while he was helping his brother during these allegations, these sexual harassment allegations. My goodness, if you're a female employee over at CNN and you have to work with Chris Cuomo, knowing that he was, you know, actively trying to help save his brother and maybe even trying to retaliate around the women who were, who were coming forward. That's really, that's, that's awful for, for a female employee to have to look at him in the hallways. So um, yes, I do think he needs to step down and I, I do think that CNN should probably fire him.